Please, somebody make a space documentary that respects me. This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. There's been something of a renaissance in uh, video production and especially television series lately. Maybe I shouldn't say lately. I'm thinking of the aughts. I'm thinking those will sort of go down in history as the golden age of the really good TV series. You know, Big Love, Breaking Bad, that sort of thing. I think it's been brought about by the advent of Netflix and the DVD series, where it's very easy to watch a TV series in sequence over a relatively short period of time. You don't have to wait for it to come out over a five-year period on Showtime like you used to. Showtime still produces it, maybe, uh, or HBO. But your ability to rent it later on Netflix means it really can be a 200-hour long movie with good continuity. However, one genre that appears to have escaped the golden age is, uh, is the, uh, the, the space documentary genre. Now, maybe space doesn't really lend itself to 200-hour-long documentaries that run in, you know, one-hour segments in sequence, well thought out from start to finish. But that's not the problem I have with space documentaries these days. The problem I have is that the video is so unrealistic. You would have no idea when you watch a space documentary these days what to believe visually. The parts that I can identify as accurate or not are awful. They're completely inaccurate. That's an exaggeration, but they're way more inaccurate than they would need to be. I mean, they should at least be accurate enough so that I can't spot the inaccuracies, right? I'm not a physicist. Okay, so let me give you an example. This is one of the least bad <laughs> atrocities that I've seen lately. There was an attempt by a space documentary to kind of show what space combat would really look like, you know, they're acknowledging that it's not going to look like what you see on Star Trek. And to their credit, they're showing, you know, unusual fighter types. There would be, They think there would be fighters in space, and there probably would. And they show how the fighters would not look like jet planes. <laughs> they, they would be more like spheres or cubes, and they would move differently from what you see in air combat. Okay, that part I respect, but while they're telling you this, the space planes are making noise in space. You can hear the laser bolts, which don't look like laser bolts. They look like Star Wars bolts, which aren't really laser bolts. But lasers, for those of you who don't know, fire at the speed of light, and they appear as a beam, not a bolt. They don't move like, you don't see them move from one point to another. They're just, they're instantaneous almost. The, the beam appears at the source and at its target at the same time to the to the human eye. Any of you who've ever seen a real laser, and the only way you can actually see a full laser beam is if there's a little bit of smoke or something or, or, or whatnot in the air, or at least the air itself sometimes will show you the laser beam. You can't see it in space. You know, what you'd really see would be something bright, uh, maybe uh, at the source. The source might light up. Uh, and then you would see the target light up with an explosion or whatever. More likely just um, a hole or a fire. Or then, again, you wouldn't really have a fire in space except inside the spaceship and in any of the air that's venting out into space. But anyway, why can't people respect us enough when they make these documentaries to show us things as they would actually look and actually sound? They would sound silent! at least from a distance. Now, inside a spacecraft, of course, you'd have noises of different types. You certainly would not hear an enemy laser bolt miss you, or an enemy missile. But let's forget the whole space combat thing. Even if space combat were... Oh, enemy, even, if we're even if they're not talking about space combat, it seems like space documentaries often get things wrong. Uh, the other example would be like... I was watching it. It was a Stephen Hawking documentary of all things. He's like, you know, the world's best physicist. He's great. 
But whoever's taking his words and adding video to them, they decided to put in all these sound effects. I mean, he's showing, I guess, like in one case, like a faster than life, light, faster than light ship that's traveling from point A to point B, and as it passes the camera, you hear the whooshing sound. <laughs> what? I mean, this is supposed to be hard science documentary stuff, and it all has got this pop science fiction thing going on. Please, somebody, make a space documentary that respects me. This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your Bitcoins into real-world stuff. They're privacy-friendly. You don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com.